headed to Starbucks to get a coffee and then I'm gonna go get my nails done. I haven't had my nails done in um, a while, a couple of months actually. And I can't find my like mount for my phone so I'm just having to hold it so it's super <laughs> up close and I hate that. But anyways, that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna come home, get ready and we have a Christmas party tonight. I just got done, I'm getting my nails done. I'll show you what it look in a minute. Um, but it, it never fails. Every time I get my nails done, when I leave, I bump them and I mess one up. Every, every time. I don't know that I've ever got my nails done and not messed something up on them. So on the side of my thumb, when I was trying to get my money out, there's a smudge mark and I'm just like, perfect, freaking perfect. Um, so that's my rant for the day. <laughs> um, anyways, I did stop at a cute little boutique in um, Seneca if you're local. It's, I think it's called Palmetto 44. I think there's some cute stuff in there. Um, I got like a cute um, cardigan. It's a long cardigan. And it's like a thermal material. I'll show y'all um, when I get home. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear that today. Um, or if I want to wear it maybe on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I don't know. But right now I'm going to pick up Casey's final Christmas present. I already have it bought and everything. But I've had it hid at my dad's house for like, I don't know, like a month because there's no way to wrap it. Um, I mean, I guess I could wrap it, but it would be so obvious as to what it is. So um, I'm gonna go pick that up and he's not home right now. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna hide it so he doesn't see it on Christmas day. So hopefully I can get it in the house and get the point. So I'm just going to like take my time, put it there on some moisturizer and chit chat with y'all. I'm not going to do like a full chit chat video, um, but I am going to film getting ready, but just have it go on like a time lapse or something. But I'm throwing on some moisturizer. I did just cleanse my face. You know, my face has been really dry lately which is a weird because I'm usually like combination there's a lot of combination skin but it's been like extra dry like right here on and on my nose so it gets on my nerves every time I put on makeup because obviously I set it with powder and then it just clings to the dry patches and it's annoying because my nose like right here on the bridge of my nose is dry and you, it doesn't even look dry like right now it looks like where I just need to dry this but as soon as you put makeup on you'll see it and it'll want to start like cracking almost like you're putting makeup over a sunburn and it's annoying because it does that and if you put powder on it then obviously it's just gonna make it stand out even more but my nose is like gets oily the fastest and the quickest so it's like I can't do a lot of powder because I mean, I'm going to like the freaking desert on my nose, but then if I don't set it, <laughs> I'm going to be like freaking grease mob. So it's annoying and it's going to my nerves. But um, I've been using this Replenish um, hydrating gel. It looks like that. I picked it up at Marshall's. I ran out of the Clinique Redness Solutions is what I've been using, but it's out and I needed something and I was in Marshall's, so I grabbed it. And, um, so far, like, it is really hydrating. So, that's a plus. And then, um, I've been addicted to rose water. Um, I'm putting this on your skin. If you have redness in your skin, this is really, really good. It's going to, like, balance out your pH levels and kind of even out your skin tone. So, this is the one I use. It's from, can you see, Unique. And it's 25% off. <gasps> what are you barking at? Nothing. Okay, so let's see. Um, oh yeah, I got my nails. I was telling y'all I got my nails done. So this is what they look like. I just went with a gray and then a silver glitter. Um, I see stuff on Pinterest all the time that I like, but then I'm like, they don't have these colors or this is like $80 nails and it's like no. So I went with this. I love, um, I rarely do colors. I usually do, um, where's my primer? 
I usually do um, neutrals like blacks um, and grays is typically what I like to stick with um, or like a mauve color and I also like to do um, like a forest green that's what I did the last time I got vanilla scent and also I book it in like I'm not somebody who gets my nails done religiously um, like what is it like, you're supposed to get them right every two weeks or something like feelings? I don't know Buster! Okay, that's enough. Stop. Um, I don't ever do that. Like, I'll get my nails done and I will wear these until I have about this much growth and they start cracking. And then I just take them off myself. Um, just because I'm not, I don't keep up with it like that. I typically get my nails done every three to four months. Jump down. Get down. Go. Rude dog. Um... Like, I'll get mine on, like, special occasions, holidays, stuff like that. I'll go get them done. But, other than that, that's it. So, anyways, the moral of the story was, um, this is just some setting spray. I like to do this, um, you can do this before your makeup and afterwards to help it, um, stay longer. Anyways. If you're local, I've been going the past two times. Like I said, I usually just go to whoever, but um, the past two times, I have been going to Elite Nails, and it's in Seneca, and they are so good. They're so sweet, and they do a really, really good job. It's um, like a husband and wife who owns it, and I have uh, no complaints. So if you're looking for a good nail place, go there because... Okay, there's this nail place. I'm not even going to say the name, but if you're from Seneca, um, it's super popular. Everybody, a lot of people go there, and I went there one time because Casey got me a gift certificate there. Mm -mm. Nope, never again. They were so rude, so hateful. Um, the lady, they charged me, like, way too much, and, like, I'm not rude about anything. I was just like, hey, I think... Um, this is wrong. All I got was this. And the lady that did my nails, they went and got her. And she was, like, yelling at me um, in front of everybody in the whole nail salon. Um, and I don't even know what she was saying because everything was in Chinese. It was, and I was like, oh, my God. Literally, like, she, as soon as they went and got her, she, like, stood up at her little station and started just yelling, I don't even know what, all the way across the thing. And I was just like, you know what? Forget it. I was like, I have a gift card. So whatever, and um, they were like, here you go, we're so sorry, here's like $10 coupon or something, I was like, mm -mm, I'm not coming back, so that can just go to the freaking trash dump for all I care, they were so rude, um, and I didn't even like how my nails looked, I was like, uh, typically, I like to get them almond shaped, so I was like, can you do this, and she was like, no, no, and then I was like, okay, whatever, just do it normal, and then, um, I said I wanted um, like the matte top coat on it so they weren't shiny and I was trying to tell her and she literally no she couldn't figure out what I was saying and I was like can you do like the top coat matte the matte I mean I literally said it in every version possible and she was like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know what you're talking about and I was just like okay forget it just freaking forget it so um, I don't like that place I will not ever go back there Rude. But anyways, Elite Nails in Seneca is really, really good. I think they may be new. I'm not sure, but they're good. Alright, so I'm trying to decide. I'm going to do foundation first. Uh, I'm going to throw on some foundation. This is the Liquid Touch. I'm in the shade Scarlet, too. Actually, I knew let's do this. <laughs> so, also, I can't remember if I put this in a vlog or not. Um, that I was getting eyelash extensions. I, mean, I think I may have cut all of that out of the last vlog I uploaded. Um, uh, okay. <coughs> I got them. I don't know if I should do like a whole video on my experience of getting eyelash extensions or if I should just kind of talk about it in here. I'll briefly go over it. Okay. You see my eyelashes? Okay. I got these done last week. And that's how I'm going to leave it. You take your opinions on what you think they should like a week after. Um... It's not funny. It's really not funny because 
if this happens to anybody else, um, it's awful. Okay, I'm just gonna say the moral of the story. I went and got lashes. Um, my lashes done last Saturday, so one week ago exactly, and um, they were great. I loved them. Um, and she had told me, she said, you're going to have to come in sooner than most people typically would. Just because um, my eyes watered a lot. She said, if you have um, green or blue eyes, like light colored eyes, then your eyes are more sensitive. And um, some people's eyes just water a whole lot more. Well, that's, how, that's what I did. And so she was having a hard time having my lashes stick like it literally took my point was at 130 and I left it for so it took I mean a long time to do which was I was expecting it to take a while anyways but um and she was just saying how like they weren't really wanting to stick that great so I had an appointment scheduled for Philly on the 29th and I was like okay see you then or whatever and my lashes started falling out like crazy. Um, about like the third, third or fourth day. Um, like 70% of my lashes were gone. By like the fifth day, 80%. So it's exactly one week since I've had them done and 90% of my lashes have fallen out. So, um, and I haven't, like, I followed every rule that you're supposed to follow. I've done everything right. Um, so, she's like, are you serious? Um, but it's totally good. I talked to the girl, and I have another appointment on the 27th to go in, and I'm going to get, she's going to do a completely full set on me. She's not going to charge me. Um, she's like, I've never seen this happen. I don't know what it was, but it's been crazy. So, <laughs> I hope that doesn't ever happen to nobody else because you know lashes are expensive so it's an investment for sure but um anyways that's my little lash story I'll probably do like a full in-depth one um after I go in and then see how long they last again because if I get this done and they fall out like crazy again I'm just not ever gonna get lashes <laughs> lashes again um I liked them while they lasted anyways I've got my foundation on and I'm just gonna take a sponge and press this in. Also, okay, for some reason, I wanted to say this because I know I just told you I was gonna do this on like a time lapse of me getting completely ready. Well, when I put it on that, it's like being really really bright and you can't see anything so you won't see that but you'll see me afterwards all right so i just finished doing this makeup look um for my eyes i used um addiction palette for um arrogant brave and secretive and then i mixed a little bit of um aesthetic um, with, I can't think of the names, secretive for the, um, lid part. I just did a little bit of a halo eye and called it a day. I ended up putting some mascara on. Um, I don't have a whole lot on, but I needed something because, you know, with my life situation. So what we're working with. But I wanted to show y'all, I'm getting ready to, um, do my hair and I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave and I have no idea what I'm wearing so I was gonna show you all this is the cardigan that I picked up today from that boutique I mentioned and it is just like a really light blushy almost nude pink I love this they had a black one and obviously I was like oh I love the black but like 90% of my closet is black, so I wanted to get something else. So I grabbed this one, and it's 
thermal material. It's really, really soft and super nice quality. I have like a black top that I wanted to wear and the sleeves are kind of like see-through. So it may actually pair really well together. We'll see, but I wanted to show y'all this. I'm gonna finish getting ready. Finish my coffee. I have a little bit of a headache. Um, so I may take something because I don't want it to get worse. Um, Casey just texted me and said he is on his way home. So we're probably more than likely gonna be late to the Christmas party tonight, but we're late to everything. So, I mean, literally y'all, yesterday we had um, Casey's family came over and we made cookies and we had people at our house before we even got home. So if that tells you how we are. We are on our way and like I said earlier, we would be late. We are um, 11 minutes late. We're not there yet. So do you want to tell them why we're late? Where were you? What were you doing? Also, from he was too busy swimming around in the lake. In the run. The cat always has his tongue. When I pull the cat, we are back from the Christmas party. It was so fun. Um, but we are just gonna put on some pajamas and watch a Christmas movie. I did want to quickly say that my earrings are from Lavender Blue. So if you like really cute and oversized jewelry, you should check it out. They have a lot of cute stuff. But Buster! Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and, um, have a Merry Christmas y'all. Bye.